video today we are going trying to trying something a little new so you remember me doing like you know angry bird music videos like a, a gaming vlog but today we're going to do a little something that was pretty popular in the past but not too much anymore everyone has heard of tier list right like where you have like a like a s tier a, a tier b tier c tier and stuff like that and so on so it's pretty much ranking what's your favorite so i'm with the help of tier maker i have i have made my own tier list for one of the games that you guys have saw and love in my channel it actually is one of the most viewed videos angry birds at least angry bird music so today we're gonna be ranking my favorite angry birds music i mean i'm sorry i don't know we're going to what is the most useful birds to d tier to all the way up to s tier let's get started so at d tier we only have one bird this one he's only for one bird and that's red red the most special angry bird the most popular he is like so classic everyone knows red if you're an angry bird fan the only bird besides yellow and chuck i mean chuck and blues is red like red is so classic he was in every single game i'm pretty sure except angry bird stella and yeah so red is has, is d but in our hearts he's a hero but in the outside world, he sucks. No offense to the people that look. Whatever, let's move on. Alright. Uh, so we have... We have... Alright, next up we have the bad tier. Um, we have Chuck and Blue. So, Chuck... He is kind of like Red, but just quicker and stronger. And that's pretty much all you had to say. He's cool. He's a jock. He's a bird. A duck, I think. But yeah, you just chuck, chuck the speedster. I, I like, I like him in Angry Birds too. But besides that, he's not really that powerful. Then we have the blues. They're pretty much like red, but you just split red into three pieces, and that's the blues. And you just color them blue when they're small. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're, 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 they're cool. I love them in the Angry Birds too. They always make funny jokes and stuff like that. But yeah, Blues and Chuck. I'm sorry, you guys. You guys have to be in the B tier. Moving on to the B tier, which is okay. You know, they're not that b bad. They're not that good. So yeah, let's go. Um, uh, most of the uh, Angry Birds Stella birds, and I only know like four names. <laughs> That's Stella, Poppy. I forgot the little one next to Matilda. Um, I know the, the one that looks like red, named Dolly, I'm pretty sure. The one that there's Willow and then the bad bird in the, in the game is, yeah. Um, I'll get to another episode why I don't really know their names. But anyways, alright, let's go to B tier. Um, so, we have Matilda first up. Um, the thing about Matilda is that she could be a little messy sometimes. Like, oh, you really want to get the egg in that right spot. You hit, missed, and he went in the ground. And if you don't, if you miss what you want to hit, sometimes it could actually be good, but most of the time it does nothing. It's like worse than red. And sorry, my voice is a little different from what you usually see from me, but it's just that I don't feel a little weird to me, but um, yeah. So Matilda, I'm sorry, you have to be in the B tier. It's not too bad, but it's not too good. Anyways, the one that, the only bird I don't know the name of. I have no idea. I feel like it will start with uh, like a B or something. But, I don't know. All we know is that in the game, she looks like Blue Bird. And she's actually kind of, she's like the kind of the Blue Bird of the Seller the Sel Universe. Yeah, I know she uses sound waves. The sound waves, they're not that strong. And like, they could be strong, but 
Uh, well, it, it, it's like it, it's useful for breaking glass. Glass, yes, of course, glass. But it's not too strong. It can't kill pigs or anything. Unless if there's glass or TNT near the pig. But besides that, nothing. Anyways, moving on to the other B tier um, Stella character is Poppy. Poppy is the second bird you get in Angry Cell. And yeah, she's kind of like Matilda, but the thing is, I put it, I put her a little more higher than Matilda because um she could be really useful sometimes, like really useful. But um, it's not as useful as like the A tiers or the S tiers, like or the people that are in front of her. She's not that strong, but she's not. She is like that's pretty much what B tier is. For, at this list at least it's not too strong it's not too good it's just it's normal so yeah her her like move what i like about hers is that she actually goes down with it so it's more stronger than matilda said uh, she could they, they they could be good like matilda she could throw the egg kill some pigs and then go up and kill some more pigs and dolly uh, she could do more damage below so if there's like rocks or stuff like that she could break them so yeah, they're pretty much useful, but same time that weird bird I know the name of is he is still there. And he's good. So anyways, I'm um, moving on to the one the newest angry bird I'm pretty sure is um Silver. Silver did make a little appearance in um Angry Birds the movie too. But yeah. Oh yeah, well I noticed that I think she's a boy. In the games, and then in the in the in the in the movie, she's a girl. So yeah, I don't really, I don't really get it, but whatever. But yeah, she's kind of like Matilda and Poppy, but I actually like her a little bit more because her blast radius and stuff like that is a little more stronger than the others. But she could be a screw up sometimes. But yeah, so that's why she's here to be tier. Like the others, you don't want me to say it again, okay? Okay, anyways, moving on to the last B tier bird is Stella, the original Stella, not the one from Angry Bird Stella, the original one. So, this one is weak. Like, the thing she lacks on is that her firepower. Like, yeah, she can lift up the things next to her, but when she's trying to get stuff from far away, it's going to be a little challenging. Unless if you can somehow get those blocks that you have in the air to land on what you want. But the chances of that is super low. So, yeah. And she's also weak, too. She, If you do hit it, she can only bring, like, glass. I don't even think she could bring glass. That's how weak she is. So, yeah. Last B tier is... It's still a uh, um, season, angry season. Alright, anyways, the B tier we have Matilda, that weird bird that I don't know the name is, Poppy, Silver, and Original Stella. And it was moving into the good tier. This is when actually the birds are getting a little useful for once. We have Willow. Um, This is when I stopped playing the game. But yeah, anyways, Willow, she's pretty useful. She could, her, like, move was to spin around. If, unlike the other characters, like Hal and stuff like that, she could actually sp spin, like, make a little thing, like a circle. Well, Hal could only go, like, the, a different, like a boomerang. Well, she could actually move around a little bit. But, I'll get to Hal later, but for her... She's a little more weaker. She the the worst she could break is is um some some brick. I mean not brick. What are they call wood? And maybe damage a little bit of brick. And she doesn't really knock it over too. She just breaks it. Most of the time it doesn't even work. She can be useful, but sometimes she is just like the bird that you don't want to get. Anyways, going off to. Dahlia, um, I didn't even, I never played with Dahlia before, actually. 
I never used her in any of the games I played. I never even used her actually. Um <laughs> so yeah, I already know that she can make portals, I'm pretty sure. She I don't even know. Um I didn't even really care to look. I just decided to make a video, so I made it. But you should be a little clips in her, her gameplay right now. But anyways, she she kinda looks like red to me. And she kind she I think those there are ponytails she has. I don't know. I know she's smart in the in the show TV shows. Or you wanna call it too But yeah, go it's not too strong or too weak. But yeah. Anyways, moving on to the other Stella. The one from Angry Birds Stella. If it makes sense, I know. But anyway, so she's way more active than the other one. The other one's a little sassy, yeah. this one is like way energetic. Like she could be up all night and not even feel anything. Oh yeah, what I like about this one is that she could break like buildings. Like one building broke another building broke another one. She could break like a lot of things and it's really strong. And the stuff that she could, she can't break like brick. She just blow, do, do it into like the void or just go into another place. So she's a really useful bird. Just one thing, there's just a one thing that makes her from S tier. She's weak. Yeah, she's kind of weak. Like when you do it, she's like it's strong. Yeah, it's really strong. But she could really mess up most of the time. You know? Like if you get hit in the floor with glass or something or object, she w she can't do that move anymore. So yeah. And later in the game, I'm pretty sure you, you get less stellas. So, yeah. Anyways, moving on to the, the Terrence, not the other, the, the snow version. He is very, very, very disappointing. He's disappointing. I'm sorry, people. He's disappointing. When I first got him, and when I first got the, the what was it called? I forgot. But when he, it first came out, like, north, like... Nor, nor, North fin, Finland, sorry. I don't really know, whatever. But yeah, fin, the Finland update for Angry Birds season, he was a letdown. A new Terrence, so overpowered. I remember people in my school saying, oh my gosh, I can't wait to play with him when he got him. Kind of disappointing. You thought he would be like the overpowered Terrence we all know. Well, not really. He's good, but he will, he is not powerful. Like, yes, he could break buildings, same like Stella, and he could do it as good as Stella, too. But just, and he's also kind of as strong as Terrence, not as strong, though. And I like his little cool look, it's kind of, and I like it and hate it. I like it because it's cool, like a little cool, cute fur coat for Terrence, and I hate it because it's pretty much Terrence skin, but you just add some, eye, like, it looks like ice. But yeah, he is a huge letdown for some people. But either way, even if he wasn't, he, if he was a new character, he would have been cool. But he would have never replaced Terrence in his life. Even if they add, if they replace Terrence for him, Terrence will always be our number one big bird. <laughs> That's what I'm kind of want to eat. Anyways, um, we have How. So for some reason, How is my favorite, and the eight. she is actually my favorite bird, though. I, I will say that. And I also love the boomerang mechanic. When people first saw that, it was so new, so much new ideas with them. He, they could make like a, a level where they could just go the other way. So you have to play the game in the other direction. And so much new ideas, and they actually did that. And he was actually one of people's fun favorite birds, just because of how fun he could be. Like he's really fun and stuff like that. They even in one of the Angry Birds seasons, they even make her his own season, which is actually pretty cool. It's Summer Picnic. It's actually one of the strongest, um, our hardest seasons in Angry Birds season history. But yeah, he's a really great bird. Like he could, I like. I like how they added them in the new games. That's really good for me, and I really like that. 
so yeah that how is one of my final favorites and will always be just not just because green he's green it's because he's a toucan and i love toucan so it's not my favorite it has to go to like a flamingo but anyways let's move on now we're going to the powerful guys the guy that actually could take down the buildings without a cinch Anyways, moving on to the first one, Terrence, our boy Terrence. We were just talking about your brother a couple minutes ago. But yeah, Terrence, he is very strong, and unlike the others, he is like the destructive one in our team. He could break block buildings and buildings and buildings. And like, you know, there is a bird on top of him that does that better. He's always going to be our, our guy that like destroys and it is destructive but yeah he's a big bird and he's cool he's kind of like red brother i think he is i don't know but yeah they, they kind of look alike so, but yeah i love times he's actually one of my favorite so, yeah anyways moving on to the other one i was talking about that was destructive this one's destructive by firepower the other one just is pure destructiveness but this one's destructive by powerness and explosiveness so we so we have our bomb bomb is one of my favorite birds i like i like how he looks and stuff like that he's really cool i like the um, tunes how the truck is always always like a, like oh i mean um bomb and Bomb Wars gets the extra credit when Chuck actually pretty much actually helps him. But in the end, he gets no credit. <laughs> like that one where he tried to, he tried to be, um, he, he stole the eggs himself and he actually put them in a little, um, thing. And all the birds were looking for him and when he came back, he found the eggs and he saw the, the pig getting the eggs. So he beat up all those pigs, all of them. And he comes back. And then he dropped eggs, and then bom uh, right next to Bomb, and Bomb found him, <laughs> finds him, and they all uh, cheer for him. It, it, that's funny. I always used to love watching his videos. But yeah, Bomb is very destructive. He's very strong. He could blow up anything, actually. And he, he, yeah, he could blow up anything. So now moving on to the last bird that actually could act uh, actually needs ex like aim and accuracy and scale in order to kill pigs unlike the other ones that just pretty much just kill them but yeah we have um bubbles so bubbles i like about him is that uh, he's uh, he's cute it's not just because he's cute that makes him better than terrence and bomb he's very strong i don't know about you guys but i feel like he's more useful than mom so even though bomb destroys stuff i feel like what he does is that he make he blows everything up but in a bigger radius and when you think he's already done he'll pshing, he just goes everywhere breaks everything breaks everything but do you know bubbles that he has a bigger blast radius than bomb does bomb has a small batch radius but everything that sight is destroyed or is knocked in the air but for bubbles, he just knocks everything in the air, pretty much. And then the stuff that was still there that's holding on, pretty much just, just get destroyed after he just popped around. So yeah, bubbles is very useful. I love Halloween too. One of my favorite Angry Bird seasons. I like the music; it's very catchy and stuff like that. But yeah, now moving on to the people that they don't even really need to try at, to to kill the pigs, and they'll just kill all of them. We're going into Gale, um, the bad guy in Angry Birds Stella. So when you actually beat her, I'm pretty sure, you actually get her powers and she helps you. And if I don't remember, I'm not sure, but she does like summon some damage, summons other pigs and stuff like that, and just destroys all stuff. Or even that she just destroys all the pigs for reason. Yeah. She's strong. I like her, her appearance too. I also like how she was also with Stella and she was friends until he actually found the pigs, at least in the in the tunes. Um, and then she became bad and now she's the like ruler, evil ruler of the pigs in at least her universe. No, take, take pig away. Anyways, yeah, I love 
I love the plot of Angry Birds style like, way better than the than Angry Birds, but in the characters and stuff like that, they can't take away. They can't be the Angry Birds style will never beat them. But yeah, anyways, moving on to the most powerful, you could call it a god, a, t a mighty eagle. Even in the first movie, they called it mighty eagle and god, a god, pretty much. But in the second one, eh, uh, not really. But yeah, and he's so strong. He can destroy pigs after pigs after pigs and not even stopping. And he won't even get tired. And he will always be the level. If he doesn't, he gets a little help from his little dragon friend, Shikina. But yeah, in different Angry Birds seasons, he, he turns into different things. Like it, like in the Angry Birds um, season, the drag year the dragon. He turns into a dragon, which is actually really cool. And another thing that in the basketball one, I forgot what it's called, Slam Dunk, I'm pretty sure. He turns into a basketball, which is actually really cool. Either way, he still kills all the pigs. So yeah, I really like that. So he's definitely S tier. He's pretty much the ruler of all the birds in the whole world, pretty much. In any bird universe. Yeah. He is definitely number one for the, the birds. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Make sure to stay safe. And see you next time.